This is Dragon 25. This is the Purple Spined Sea Serpent. Now, this was the first time, <clears throat> I think, in the series that we really got into doing I, what I felt was going to be a sea serpent going into it. Now, I start off drawing this guy with a basic, you know, big round neck kind of thing. But I wanted to start to incorporate some things, some elements from, you know, an aquatic life. And strangely, the one of the biggest influences for this guy was a shrimp. And the exoskeleton that they have and the way they have the layered sort of plates going down their back. So that's something I, I wanted to um, kind of expand upon with this particular, with this particular uh, drawing. Now, the purple spined is more of a suggestion on how um, he may be colored. And if you look at sea, you know, sea life especially, it's, it's just wild how many you know, variations and, and colorings there are. Um, but certainly this suggests some violet in the, sp in the spining or the hairs going down the neck. Um, whether that in is incorporated into the rest of the coloring or not, we would have to wait and see. Um, but I, you know, a, a sea serpent to me also suggests that we really don't have any appendages, you know, maybe some flippers or, or some fins or something, but not so much in as we would have like arms and shoulders and some of the human elements that, that I've referred to before. So um, this guy really is kind of a big snake so it's it's the design of the of the scales and the body I think that could really be interesting in something like this guy. Now, if I were going to take him into a full blown uh, scene, you know, I might think about what he what he eats or what some of his natural predators are, or you know, is he the natural predator? You know, this. Maybe instead of a real small shrimp that we're kind of used to, you know, this guy's enormous and lives in a, you know, a big crevasse in the in the, uh, in, the in the depths of the ocean. The ocean is certainly a, a very alien place to us still, and there's a you know a lot of attributes that could be added to uh, a, any kind of fantasy creature from that that really is just I mean they feel so alien, but they they exist. You know, it's a world we really don't know a lot about for as close as it is to us. I've always found that to be kind of interesting. But you can see here where the he does start to take on the quality of like that that overlapped exoskeleton that a shrimp has. And I, and I thought that was kind of interesting on this guy. pretty um again here just a few darks in here to keep you know a add a little interest and stuff like that just a few accent darks but that about wraps this guy up i think um this was a, again another one that was really kind of uh a little left of center but i was i was interested and i'm excited to see how this would move into a final piece i definitely like the idea and there we go, the purple spined sea serpent.